I received the package on Monday. Um, my husband came home with it in the mail, and and I I thought it was something we ordered online. I, you know, a late Christmas present. Not quite. What Nova Scotia resident Jesse Falsatelli got was a package from Statistics Canada asking for her blood. I thought it was a scam. <laughs> There's so many things that go around now. You know, the first thing I thought was, no, no way, I'm not doing that. I, I had no idea what it was for. It's not a scam. Falsatelli is one of 48,000 Canadians randomly selected to take part in a unique national coronavirus survey. 22,000 kits were sent out across Canada at the beginning of January. The rest will ship at the end of the month. Stats Canada is working with the federal health agencies and the COVID-19 Immunity Task Force on the project. The goal is to have a better sense of how prevalent the virus is beyond the daily numbers. So we'll have a much broader picture of how many people in Canada have actually been infected with this virus, whether they knew it or not. In the kit, there's everything you need to take a finger prick specimen. So there are gloves, alcohol swabs, the lancet to do it. And what you do is you prick your finger and you drop the blood onto filter paper and you dry it for three hours and then you put it in the prepaid packaging to go to the National Microbiology Laboratory in Winnipeg. In addition to providing a blood sample, participants are asked to answer an online questionnaire, which includes questions about socioeconomic background and risk of getting the virus. Have you had COVID proven by test? Have you had symptoms? Have you had the vaccine? The survey is voluntary, but Statistics Canada says the more people participate, the better their analysis will be. When we're looking at provincial and national estimates, our methodologists are confident that a 45% response rate will give us a good image. I think if we look at pushing that higher, what it really does is allow us to extract much more detailed information from the survey program. One of the big benefits researchers say is that participants can ask for a copy of their own results protected under the Federal Statistics Act for privacy. Valsatelli sent back her sample on Thursday. She says it was easy and the finger prick was practically painless. I think the government's just trying to figure out how to battle this whole thing and this is one way to help. It'll help inform the vaccine programs as they roll out because it might detect areas of the province where you haven't actually been seeing much COVID, but nonetheless, there's been some infection happening without symptoms. Preliminary results should be available by the end of February or early March. For City News, I'm Erica Natividad.